In northwestern Thessaly, at the end of the plain, immense rock formations create a unique spectacle. The forces responsible for the creation of the place that we all marvel at today have been the sky, the sea, the earth, and over the last thousand years, humans. Let's take a look together at the exciting life of the Meteora region over the centuries. According to the most prevalent theory, 30 million years ago, Thessaly was a vast lake, which had no passage to the Aegean Sea. At some point, a violent geological phenomenon resulted in the opening of the Tempe Pass and in the flow of the water into the sea, a phenomenon responsible for emptying the lake and unveiling the fertile plain of Thessaly. Several tens of thousands of years ago, in the plains and the mountains of Thessaly, before humans came to dominate, elephants, rhinoceroses, hippopotamuses, horses, deer, and other wild animals abounded in the area. Large carnivorous animals, such as the lion, the spotted hyena, and the wolf, coexisted with the populations of herbivorous animals. Nearly 50,000 years ago, the world was covered with a thick layer of ice. In Central Europe, the temperatures made it impossible for many species, even animals that had already developed ample fur, to endure. So they migrated to Greece, where conditions were better. According to recent evidence, the area was inhabited by human beings 140,000 years ago, initially by Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. So far, the accumulated evidence suggests that Homo sapiens neanderthalensis disappeared nearly 40,000 years ago, and the humans of today, Homo sapiens sapiens, appeared in the area. At first, these people were hunters, but later on, their main activity was agriculture. cave bear, which was basically herbivorous, disappeared about 10,000 years ago, probably because of humans. The largest population of Asproparis, also known as the Egyptian vulture in Greece, is found in this region, consisting of at least 10 pairs. The Egyptian vulture, or formerly Neophron pecnopterus, is a species referred to frequently in the cultures of ancient Egypt, India, and the Bible. In recent years, these birds, because they feed on animal corpses, have been decimated by the thoughtless use of poison baits. The rocky landscape of Meteora belongs undoubtedly among the most extraordinary and unique ones that we encounter in this world. Alfred Philipson, 1897.